Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video I'll show you how to use JMRI to create a wireless throttle that you can use on your smartphone or tablet. It's great being able to control our trains via JMRI on the computer, but what if we don't want to be sat at the computer whilst we're having a running session? Well that's where having a wireless throttle comes in. You can walk around your layout and control your trains from wherever you are. We're going to look at two ways of doing this, one using JMRI's built-in Y throttle and the other by setting up a web server within JMRI that the apps can connect to. Let's get started. For both methods you need to have JMRI set up on your computer and already have it connected to a base station so that you can control trains using the standard JMRI throttle. I'm using my DCC++ base station and I've got my LMS compound here on the rolling road and as you can see that all works as it should using the standard JMRI throttle. You're going to need something to act as your wireless throttle, so that could be a tablet or a smartphone. I've got my tablet here for the demo, just because the screen is bigger. The computer running JMRI and your wireless throttle device both need to have wireless capabilities, and we're gonna assume that they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, because in most circumstances, you're gonna be in the same area as your layout. It is possible to set up a wireless throttle that can control your trains from anywhere in the world with an internet connection, but it's a slightly different process and we're not going to cover it here. The first step is to install an app on your phone, tablet or whatever device you're planning on using as your handheld throttle. JMRI has a list of apps that it works with on its support pages and which operating systems they work on. Different apps have different features, but as a minimum, all of them should allow you to select a train from your roster and control speed and direction. Some of them let you activate functions and some of them can even control objects on your layout that are set up in JMRI, such as turnouts. Different ways of connecting to JMRI require different apps, so let's look at the first method using Y Throttle. To set this up, open JMRI, go to Edit Preferences. Let's bring that over here. And we're going to go to the Y Throttle uh, menu down here and we're going to click start automatically with application and make a note of this port number because we're going to need it later. Hit save and it will ask you to restart. Once it's restarted the Y throttle box will open and you'll see up here it's got your local IP address and that port number that it said already. So we'll turn the power on here. Now we need to install the app on our device and for Y throttle I'm going to connect with the engine driver app because I'm on Android. Once that's installed, it'll ask you for a number of permissions and you can set some themes, but eventually you will reach the following screen. And up here at the top, it will ask for a server address and port. And we need to type in exactly the same as what's in our Y throttle box. So that's for me, 192.168.1.1. One three eight, and for the port one two zero nine zero, and hit connect, and you should see on JMRI that the uh, engine driver app has connected um, up here with the device name, and in the engine driver app you should see this loco select box up at the top, and if you hit that and go to server roster, you should see all the locomotives in your roster and there is our LMS compound. And once you've opened this, it will come up with three buttons at the top. So you've got your forward, your reverse and your stop in the middle. And then you've got this throttle slider. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Let's put it to forward. And there we go. We've got control of our locomotive using this wireless throttle. And if you've got multiple locomotives, this app will let you open, I think it's up to six, but it's definitely more than one. So you can have a few locomotives on the go at the same time. Right, so that's our first method of creating a wireless throttle. The next method involves starting a local web server in JMRI. So in JMRI preferences, we are going to turn off our Y throttle. And then down here in the web server area, go over to the web server tab and click start automatically with application. And again, you need to note down this port number. So hit save and it'll tell you that you need to restart. Uh, 
engine driver won't connect using this method. So I'm going to use a different app called Digitrains Pro. So let's open that up on the tablet. And it'll ask you which command station to connect to. So we're going to go with JMRI. And it'll say, do you want to get data from JMRI? It will override your current pro, uh, profile. So we're going to hit yes, because we don't have a current profile. You get some release notes. And then what we need to do is go up here to the menu in the top left-hand corner, hit settings, and then hit JMRI settings. And this is where we set our IP address. And it's um, 192.168. 0.138 and our port number is already in there so we'll save that we'll hit yes and then we can hit, hit back and there we go we've got our LMS compound in our locomotive list so if we click into our LMS compound we've got our throttle here we can select forward and again we've got control here of our locomotive wirelessly. This app's got a few more options in it. You can control turnouts if you've got any of those. Um, and I think it will actually play some sounds as well. So that's a quick demo on two methods of connecting to JMRI using a wireless throttle. Now I appreciate we didn't spend very long looking at the apps involved there and that's because there are quite a few different apps and they all work on different operating systems. So you'll need to do your research here. Read the information on the JMRI Wi-Fi throttle pages and check out the documentation for each of the apps and see which one has all the functions that you'll be needing. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon.